Recently, a lot of people have been asking me what should they grow if they've never had a vegetable garden before. Recently, a lot of people have also been asking me what should I grow if I don't have a lot of room to grow vegetables. And also recently, a lot of people have asked me if I've tried to grow stuff in the past, it hasn't gone so great, what should I try to grow now? And the answer to all three questions is potatoes. If you haven't tried to grow them before, now's the time to start. So you're saying, I've tried to grow things before, that hasn't gone so well, I've never grown anything before, or I don't have any space. Well, the potato is definitely the answer. You know, for whatever reason growing up, my mom had this thing against the little growths that come out of potatoes called eyes. But in reality, it's the potato telling us it's ready to make more potatoes. And there's a ton of great online sources for all kinds of potatoes. There's literally hundreds of potato varieties out there. I've talked about that in the past, and there's a link right down there somewhere to that video. So once you find a potato that you want to grow, and they have these little eyes shooting up for the sky, it's about time to grow potatoes and growing them really couldn't be any easier. If you have any vessel at all, anything that can contain a soil, you're good to go. If you're like me, you've got dozens of old gardening center plant containers lying around. Those can be used. You can buy a store-bought one. You can put one in a wheelbarrow. You can put them in a garbage can. Wherever you can put soil, you can grow potatoes because that's the one thing they need is a nice, light, airy soil so they can grow to be big potatoes. So how do we do this whole potato growing thing? Well, it is unbelievably easy. If you have one of your containers, you go ahead and fill it up about halfway with soil. Then we place our potatoes in the container, cover them up with about another six layers of soil. It can be topsoil, it can be compost, composted manure, whatever growing medium you might have from old leftover perennials or annuals, potting mix, whatever you have will work. So you cover them up with about six inches of soil. Then a little bit of mulch on the top if you have it. Wheat straw would be great or any kind of mulch is fine. Water it regularly about once a week. Make sure your pots have holes in the bottom for drainage. And about 120 to 150 days later, you're gonna have brand new, new potatoes. You see potatoes, sometimes called new potatoes. What's that mean? They're fresh, they were picked. They're supposed to be new potatoes. So the potato growing thing could not be easier. If you have bad soil, if you have no soil, you can grow them on an apartment patio as long as they have full sun and a nice light airy soil. So from a culinary perspective, what makes the homegrown potato so great? Well, there are hundreds of varieties of shapes and color and texture in the homegrown potato world, which make them far superior to the store-bought one. And what could be cooler than growing and then serving to family and friends potatoes you grew yourself? That's just got an unbelievable wow factor to it. And online, there are a ton of great places to get those little seed potatoes that I had. All those links are on my blog to some places that I like to purchase from. So why am I next to a creek finishing telling you about potatoes? There's no good reason besides I wanted to show you the creek at the back of my property. 